The Porsche Macan is a luxury compact crossover utility vehicle manufactured by Porsche AG of Germany with sitting for 5 passengers. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the 2016 Porsche Macan Turbo with black exterior and exclusive black and garnet red lid interior. The new Macan Turbo is powered by a 3.6 liter twin turbo V6 engine with direct fuel injection and features a 7 speed Porsche PDK dual clutch transmission and a sophisticated all wheel drive system. Boasting an impressive 400 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque, which can hit from 0 to 60 in just 4.6 seconds. And if equipped with the Sport Chrono package, it can even accelerate faster with 4.4 seconds. The side profile of the Macan is typically Porsche. From this angle, every muscle appears flex, like a Predator ready to pound. The roofline slopes distinctively down toward the rear, drawing the customary sport car contour that promises excellent aerodynamics. At the rear, the classic Porsche sport car design reveals itself, slender at the top, widening into broad shoulder above the rear wheels, a homage to the 911. The styling of the rear hatch gives the rear end a particularly harmonious look. The overall effect is to make the Macan look low, wide, and thus intimate with the road like any genuine Porsche. After all, a muscle tone body is meant to be admired from the rear as well as the front. Now some standard equipment I like to mention that comes with the Macan Turbo include a more powerful engine, bigger brakes, Adaptive suspension dampers, a unique 19 inch wheel, unique front and rear fascia, adaptive by Xenon headlight, LED fog lights, full leather upholstery, a simulated suede headliner, aluminum accent, heated 18 way power front sport seat with 4 way power lumbar support and power adjustable side and bottom bolster, a heated steering wheel, a 14 speaker bolt surround sound system, as well as a navigation system. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the pair of bi Xenon headlights with Porsche Dynamic Light System and the 4-point LED daytime running lights are also integrated into the headlight. High intensity retractable headlight washer as well as park assist are also integrated into the front bumper. And there you can see the LED turn signal light as well as the LED fog light at the bottom. In the middle is the shiny black blade design grille that feeds vital air into the engine. And a closer look at the grille. In the middle you have the front surround camera. Very aggressive looking front end. And it also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. Now moving to the side, the first thing you see is the cornering light. And this particular model does come upgraded with the 20 inch RS Spider design wheels with 265, 45 for the front. Behind the wheel is the set of 360mm internally ventilated brakes with 6 piston brake caliber for faster stopping. Red painted brake caliber also comes with the uh, Porsche lettering on it. And here is the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator and side camera are also integrated into the uh, side view mirror. On top is the panoramic sunroof that can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 20 inches and come staggered in width with 295-40 performing tires. Behind the rear wheel is the set of 356mm internally ventilated brakes with floating brake caliber painted in red with Porsche lettering on it as well. It also comes with Porsche stability management with anti-lock braking system. Tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheels.
To the back, you can see the unique and stylish LED tail light. Integrated into the tail light is the LED brake light as well as the LED turn signal light. LED tail light help alert driver behind quicker to prevent possible accident. Very cool looking LED tail light. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frame the cord black tip exhaust with dual sound mode. Rear deflector as well as park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. And in the middle you have the towing hitch that can tow a maximum amount of uh, 4,409 pounds of towing capacity. And there you also have the light plug. Rear view camera is located above the license plate. On top you have the roof spoiler with integrated third LED brake light. Okay, here I have the remote. Very cool looking remote with panic button on the back. On the remote I have the unlock, lock, trunk release. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the uh, door handle once to lock. And after a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as black, featuring black and garnet red leather interior with carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. Very sporty looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So to start it up, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and insert the key into the key ignition located on the left and turn it to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Porsche Macan Turbo have to offer.
Under the hood is a 3.6 liter twin turbo V6 engine with aluminum blocks and heads, direct fuel injection with integrated draw shunt lubrication, variable cam plus with continuous intake and exhaust cam shaft control, 7 speed Porsche PDK dual clutch transmission with active all wheel drive system, pushing out 400 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 4.6 second. And if equipped with the Sport Chrono package, you can even make it faster with 4.4 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 164 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 17 city, 23 highway, and 19 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with red and uh, carbon fiber trims on it as well as aluminum trims. Red trims in the middle section. And all four windows are fully automatic. There you also have the trunk release button and here is the side view mirror controlled and it does feature folded option. Two position memory seating, door lock and unlock, and there you have the Burmester surround sound speaker, door storage compartment, Macan turbo aluminum door seal, and there's the pedal. And here's a closer look at the seat. Very nice looking sport seat. It offers plenty of support. Now both front seats feature 18-way power adjustable front sport seat, including 4-way power lumbar support. A memory system recalls two store position for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. Now both front seat does feature heated and ventilated seat options. The three spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather. Looks and feel very nice. With silver aluminum trims in the middle. It also feature multi-function control side by side for your convenience. With control for audio, voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down paddle shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride and behind the paddle shifter you have the uh, windshield wiper controlled and to the left you have the turn signal light controlled as well as the high beam light and here's a look at the uh, instrument cluster feature a large uh, screen on the right hand side that shows important information directly in front of the driver and you can use the button located on the steering wheel to uh, scroll through the options. Very convenient. That way you don't have to take your hand off the wheel while driving. There's the uh, cruise control. And steering wheel does come with a power tilt and telescopic steering column. And over to the left hand side you have the driver side air vent with beautiful aluminum trims as well as carbon fiber trim. Down here you have the uh, key ignition and the light control. There's the hood release lever. And here's a closer look at the dash with red contrast stitching. Very nice material on the dash. Now this particular model does comes upgraded with the Burmester high-end surround sound system, which is one of the most respective manufacturer of high-end audio equipment worldwide. The system features 16 loudspeaker with a total output of 1000 watt that will blow you and your passenger away with the sound quality. 
Now located centrally on the dash, you have the large multimedia screen with the round analog clock on the dash. Beautiful aluminum trims on it. Now the screen is touchscreen. And you cannot pinch in uh, to zoom in and out for, with the navigation. Very nice carbon fiber trims on the dash. So the touch screen is very responsive as you can see. And like I mentioned the sound quality is superb. And there you have your different sources. And you can also use the knob on the right to turn uh, move around screen or press down to select. And down here you have the uh, emergency hazard light, downhill assist as well as the uh, climate control for both the front passengers. And located side by side you have the uh, climate control for both the driver and the passenger side. And here you have the heated and ventilated seat, sport sport plus uh, suspension and the uh, traction control and there you have the auto on and off, lane keep assist and the uh, off road button. And there you have the park and brake, pull it up to activate and press down to deactivate. And here's the uh, gear shift lever, it is wrapped in leather, very nice touch. So just press the unlock button and pull down to get into reverse. So as you can see, once you're in reverse, the review camera will automatically appear on the multimedia screen to help with a much easier backup. And you can choose uh, between different angles. Very nice. Alright, just pull it down again for neutral and down again for drive. And over to the left for sport mode. And that's when you can push it up or down to change gear or use the steering wheel mounted paddle shifter. Very easy and simple to use. And here you have the ashtray as well as the cigarette lighter, two cup holder, center storage compartment with a 12 volt power plug, USB as well as the auxiliary input. And you can also slide it up or down too. And once again, very nice carbon fiber trim on the dash. glove box compartment and another look at the uh, passenger seat once again offer plenty of support and very nice upholstery material on top you have the one touch open and close panoramic sunroof parking uh, sensor on and off and there's the light control you also have the three button universal garage door opener. One touch open and close sunshade. This is a very nice feature. And both of the uh, front or rear passenger can enjoy the uh, sweeping skyward view. And like I mentioned earlier, it can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. And this is how it looks from the outside. Very sporty looking. Alright, let me show you how it looks with it uh, tilting up. There you go. All 
Okay, now let's get back into the interior. Here you have the uh, rear view mirror, Alcantara headliner, sun visor mirror with a card holder. Alright, now let's check out the rear space. Rear seats offer seating for three as you can see. And it does feature folded option. You can fold it into uh, 40, 20 or 40 split for your convenience. And it does uh, offer plenty of leg room as you can see. And here's the rear driver side door panel. Also comes with carbon fiber trims as well as silver aluminum trims. Rear windows are also automatic and there's the Bubba's uh, surround sound speaker and there's the rear door storage compartment. Alright now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. But first let me show you the look to the front. Very sporty uh, front cabin. And here's the look to the top. Down here you have the uh, dual air vent with the temperature controlled. And there you have the ashtray and uh, another cigarette lighter. So I'm 5'8 and this is how much leg room I have left. So even if you're taller than 5'8 you're going to be still going to be comfortable in the back. And you also have the rear seat pocket. Rear seats are very well padded as well. Here you have the uh, center armrest with dual cup holder. On top you have the light control, the hand bar as well as a hook. Same goes to this side. Okay, here's the look to the back. Now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So the trunk in the Porsche Macan offer a total of 17.7 .7 cubic feet of cargo space with both of the rear seats up. And if you fold down both of the rear seats you get a total of 53 cubic feet of cargo space which is uh, plenty for its class. There you have another 12 volt plugged, and the uh, you can raise the height of the rear if needed. Okay, let's see what we have down here. You have a spare tire and your tools, a net for a smaller item. And this panel here can also be removed if you want. Alright, now let's fold down the rear seat. So is this is a look with the rear seat folded. You get plenty of uh, storage space then. lock button and one touch close the gas cap is located on the uh, passenger side just push it into open and it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 19.8 gallons of fuel which is a very large tank overall the Porsche Macan Turbo is a luxury compact utility vehicle Offering both the luxurious and power combined, both rear and front passenger will be very comfortable sitting inside the Macan thanks to the comfortable rear seat that offer plenty of support as well as the spacious leg room and headroom. The front cabins, however, offer plenty of luxurious features with nicely upholstery material. The common